never been high as fuck. Hello, I am Pliskit. This is Pliskit's content, and today is day six of 20 movies for 420. And today, I'm actually going to uh, give it a real try. You know, give a quick, decent review of my favorite 420 film, I Love You Man, by doing something I haven't done for the previous entries on my countdown. Watch the movie before actually writing this. Well, half the movie. The DVD crapped out, so I could really only watch uh, half of it. This film I've watched plenty of times, stoned, as well as sober. Plot. Paul Rudd's Peter is a dude that just got engaged, and it suddenly becomes clear to him and his fiance, played by Rashida Jones, that he has no guy friends to be his best man. After exhausting a colorful cast of men as potential hetero life mates, Pistol Pete meets Sydney, played by Jason Siegel, a cougar dating axe playing bro whose own group of friends had just started to lose touch as family and career slowly ate away at their hangout time. Basically, they were growing up. And Sydney was basically wanting a new best friend. And after some awkwardness, uh, Peter learns to loosen up and he gets his first true male friend in years. This is another one of my wife's favorites because she likes Paul Rudd and... Well, because it's really funny. One of my favorite scenes is when uh, Sydney uh, not so subtly hints at a toast to the future Mr. and Mrs. that she should probably give his boy Pistol Pete more blowjobs. Give it back. Yeah? Return the favor. Oh, and the couple played by John Fairview? Fair I don't know, guy from Iron Man. And that stone cold hottie, Jamie Presley, deserve their own spinoff. They're fucking great. Side note, if you like Jamie Presley, check out My Name is Earl. Uh, great show. And not another teen movie. Let's get one thing straight. This is not a cheerocracy. I am the cheer tater. I make the cheer decisions around here, and I will deal with the cheer consequences. I remember finding it interesting after watching this for the first time that this wasn't a Judd Apatow produced flick. I Love You Man has a lot of the feel of those movies, you know, with the fuck bombs and uh, the casting was two stars that are in quite a few of those movies. I have a hard time not kind of comparing it to those. And while I do find it better than Knocked Up, uh, but it's not quite as good as Freaking Sarah Marshall or Superbad, but I like it mostly because I kind of know how it feels to be like Peter. And that's about all I have to say about that. I love you, man. Funny while blazed or not. And uh, Jamie Presley is hot. So see you tomorrow on day seven of 20 movies for 420. Have you ever been high? As far.